compared to Hafiz Saeed being put under house arrest by Pakistan after they got that threat of sanctions from uh, the U.S. We've gotten a response from our MEA, the Minister of Ministry of External Affairs here. On this house arrest, the MEA claims that such exercises uh, have been carried out in the past here as well. Uh, so really adding no meat here to Pakistan's decision of putting him under house arrest, saying that there's no credit here that's to be given to Pakistan for putting him under house arrest. Uh, it's only perhaps tokenism uh, is what we're trying to say here, uh, that such detentions of Hafiz Saeed being put under comfortable, safe house arrest has played out in the past as well on similar such threats that have come in from the United States, but to no avail. That is the response here coming in from the MEA. Of course, uh, 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 not absolutely not giving credit to Pakistan's decision there. Uh, it's important here to note, of course, the mastermind here of the 2611 attacks uh, still not facing trial, uh, still not facing jail term or any punishment whatsoever here uh, with multiple proof and dossiers that have been submitted by India. The MEA, of course, responding to this house arrest, uh, looking at it as mere tokenism there by Pakistan. Uh, soon after they received that threat from the United States with President Trump there stating, uh, him and his team there stating that Pakistan could face uh, sanctions if they do not act against Hafiz Saeed. As a response to that, Pakistan quickly cracked in on Hafiz Saeed, wanting to call it cracking in on Saeed and then putting him under house arrest. India, of course, playing that down, saying this has happened before as well. We have with us our editor for internal security, Nikunj Garg, with further inputs. Uh, Nikunj, a clear sign that the government of India, of course, calling it mere tokenism from Pakistan's side. Well, Sahir, uh, it's important right now to uh, deal with it in proper perspective. And let's not uh, show any amount of jubilation over this development. Uh, one has seen these uh, developments in the past, too. Uh, it is absolutely correct on the part of the Ministry of External Affairs to give a tepid response to this development. In the in the arrest, in the custodial detention, also likes of Hafiz Saeed and Zakir Rahman Lakhvi in the past have been able to carry out their activities with impurity and brazenness inside Pakistan. So therefore, let's not uh, you know uh, get carried away with it. Uh, right. It's an action that the Pakistani government has taken. It, much is required to be done on their part. If they have begun in the right direction, we can welcome that. But we will have to wait and watch for a more uh, you know uh, supportive and cohesive response to the Pakistan's action. That's right. Expecting more cohesive response there, uh, saying that he has been put under house arrest several times in the past. These detentions have happened before as well. Uh, but, but given the nature of threat that they came in from the United States, uh, would it take more for Pakistan to act in far more seriously against Hafiz Saeed? Well, one thing is absolutely clear, Sahar, that if American troops, which are still there in Afghanistan, are attacked by any offshoot of Pakistan-sponsored terror factories, even the Haqqani network, then the response from this administration, uh, which is Mr. Trump's administration and Republican administration after eight years mm -hmm. in United States, is going to be extremely difficult and extremely tricky for the Pakistanis to handle. So mere tokenism probably, at least in the first year of Trump presidency, may not help their cause, and they may have to put some serious brakes on their terror factories uh, which are operating inside their territory. Now, for to, to uh, separate the Pakistani state from those terror factories is a very difficult task. Mm -hmm. And the Americans will have to also maintain constant and consistent pressure, not only on Pakistanis, but on their all-weather friends like Saudi Arabia and Chinese as well. So that is something, if it happens over a sustained period of time, then you can see some real-time action on the ground and Pakistan actually divorcing from these terror factories. But unless it happens, we will have to keep our powder dry. Right. Uh, Nikunj, uh, those are the inputs here, of course, coming in in a first response here, saying that the UNSC resolutions must be enforced here as well. It is for Pakistan to look at the UNSC uh, resolutions be enforced regarding the Jamaat ud dawa chief, Hafiz Saeed, there. Uh, but a decision, a step that has been taken by Pakistan. Uh, uh, Nikunj, uh, is, is, is there a sign here that as far as this threat that is coming from Trump's administration, any more tightening of screws perhaps could mean Pakistan acting more seriously then? Well, yes. Uh, uh, that's, always, that's always a very strong possibility, uh, Sahar, because Americans, remember, you know, uh, in terms of their influence on the foreign policy and the strategic direction of Pakistan establishment, still retain their number one numero uno position. The Chinese have a crucial role there, but you cannot, can never underestimate the American influence on the Pakistani establishment. And this more from the fact other than the
the financial aid, strategic aid, arms aid, etc., etc. More it stems from the fact that the entire Pakistani elite almost is seriously enmeshed and married to the uh, American interest in the United States of America. Their children are studying there. Many of them are on, you know, uh, scholarships. Many, many of them have their estates there. Many are, you know, settled in uh, United States of America holding dual passports. Remember, unlike us, Pakistan allows dual mm -hmm. passport uh, holdership. So, therefore, the entire elite of Pakistan is very, very seriously married to the American interest, not only in the uh, Pakistan, in Pakistan, but in Americas or as well. And they would not want any administration to crack down so heavily that right. their own interests get compromised inside America. Okay. So, therefore, it is important for them to keep a at least a civil relationship on with that, with mm -hmm. any that may be in power. All right, Nikush, thanks for putting that in perspective for us uh, in a response.